Yeah, it was really good feature. I thought I didn't have any footage, like nursing footage left over, but turns out I actually do have some nursing footage. And this was actually shot prior to me leaving Los Angeles. And I wanted to get this up as soon as possible before it gets, you know, too delayed. It already is delayed by like three, four weeks. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this up right now. It's uh, to teach you guys something new. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Yo, what is really good, future? And on my day ones, welcome back to the channel. The goal of today's video is to teach you something new. And I'm doing this video only because I am leaving for the Philippines for four months. Well, technically three and a half because I'm going to be in Hawaii for two and a half weeks. I want to teach you something new today, particular to uh, nursing or just general in life something for you to take from this video and apply it in your life or in your practice. For those who do not know, I do read a lot. I read a ton. I try to read at least one book a week and I've been reading uh, this one right here. This is The Power of Your Potential by John C. Maxwell. And I actually have some other books that I've been reading. The Alchemist, I read this over and over again. I always learn something new from this book. How to Make Money in Stocks. Uh, I do stock trading on the side. Still learning. Stock training, something I really want to get good at. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue doing that. That's besides the point. The whole, the whole point of this video is to try to teach you something new that you could take with you in life. But for now, I gotta get to the hospital first and I can't teach you anything new if I'm not in the hospital. All right, so the first thing I'm going to teach you is actually confidence. The thing about going to a new practice, like for example, you're coming from like, let's say just home health and you're going to a med surge. It's your first time dealing with uh, acute patients or subacute patients and uh, anything can happen at any, any given moment. Uh, the one thing that you want to keep note of is your composure and remember that you, you are capable as a, as a professional to take care of these patients. That's why we have our BLS and ACLS. So it's very important to remember your steps, your ABCs, because there's always going to be someone who knows more than you. That's why experience is very expendable because the moment you learn something, you apply it. So it's very important to continue to apply. So therefore, when your confidence starts to build up, a lot of what uh, you experience and what you go through uh, is already of the norm. So uh, always build your confidence is one thing that I can teach you. What's the next thing I should teach you? All right, very important thing in nursing is your personal protective equipment, also known as PPE. I'm gonna teach you guys how to, to, to mask any smell. What you're going to need is two masks. You're going to take one of those masks, put it on. Now you'll need an alcohol swab. Open that up, all right? And put it in between the masks, and then voila, mask the smell. It smells like alcohol. It's a really strong smell, but it works. So I use this when I, when I have to clean up some doogie. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you guys something really quick. This is called an external pacemaker. Just really quick crash course. This is your rate. Sometimes uh, you can go any, anywhere from 70 or anywhere from 60 to 100, depending on patient's case. Usually we like to do about 90, basically for fail pressures. Now you could also do A pacing or you could do V pacing. Now remember, keep in mind that A pacing, your atrial kick versus your AV pacing. Atrial kick is basically that 40%. If you knock out the atrial kick, you're left with 60%. So usually, sometimes in different institutions, they like to V pace. I'm used to A pacing, only because of the atrial kick. Sometimes when it's not pacing, you really want to go up on the sensitivity. Increase the sensitivity, so you could go down on your threshold or your output. So your threshold usually is half of the output, like for example, your sensitivity is 0.5. Your atrial threshold would be five, but you want to double it, put it to 10. So you do not want to go to high output only because you risk burning out the wires. So hope you learned something from there, you know. Just really quick discussion on this. Hope that makes sense. Hope you guys did learn something new from that video. And I know in cardiac, there's so much to learn from cardiac. So I will do my best 
that so when I get back when I to LA to actually show you more content related to to cardiac so if you guys enjoyed this video and I apologize it is delayed don't forget to smash the thumbs up button don't forget to check out these other videos and I'll see you guys in the next video it should be a vlog and I'm actually shooting that right now so y'all take care peace